Thank you for tuning in. If you can like and subscribe, that would really help the channel out. And before we get started, yeah, we're talking about this weird error that you get when you're trying to extract models for Fortnite. All the links are in the description for the downloads. And then the other thing is make sure that you actually have the updated like U model and F model. Um, I'm not using F model anymore just because I don't have a reason to. I just Google get the AES key that way. Um, but make sure you have the updated new model. Uh, I have that later in the video, but just make sure you have that downloaded. All right, thanks. So here I'm talking about how that I basically, I was trying to figure this out for like a year, a solid year. And I had got to the point where I figured out how to get U model installed, F model and all this. And then I was getting this internal Oodle decompressor failed error. Well, you need the AES key to actually open up the files. So this is in the description, but it's been bought app and this is what F model does. It gives it for you, but I just use this because I'm lazy, so it's fine. And then once you have that, you copy paste it in there and it opens. And this is, if I believe correctly, this is without picking our proper override section. So this is basically how you get that error all the time. So your largest file there in your meshes, that's what you export. And then we get this error. Assertion failed to load. Now this sometimes is the Oodle model, but we gotta go to the web. We gotta get our updated version. If you listen to the beginning of the video, this is what I was talking about. Make sure you get your version. Now something quick, there's almost a million downloads and this was just released two days ago. Think about that. There's a million plus, like over a million people probably using this and literally it took me over a year to figure out some of these issues right now what i'm doing is i put you model actually inside my packs folder um it should be the same no matter where your files are stored and i always run it as an administrator and that's just to prevent any kind of like issues windows might have so here this is what I'm talking about. You wanna to go to this little override game detection box up at the top, because if you don't do that, it just kinda of like uses a default setting. And when you do the default, that's kinda of where it messes up. It's like, eh, whatever. So you need to pick the highest Unreal Engine versions on both. So the reason is just because updates, updates to Fortnite, and it just works out easier now. Sometimes after it's stable for a while, you won't have to do that, but it's just safer and easier to select the highest four point whatever version. Now, after the new season comes out, which is tomorrow, um, June 8th, you may have to use Unreal Engine 5 because I think they're trying to integrate that with PC, but um, we'll just have to wait and see on that. So this may change completely, but the process won't change, just the numbers will change. So like on the left, you would pick Unreal Engine 5, and then on the right, it'd be whatever five point version. But typically that's what you do. So here we're just using Blithies to get a ID and we're going down, we're gonna open it and from here we're gonna export it now the reason why we're doing this is a to preview make sure it's the skin we want and b since like i've kind of messed with my computer to optimize it to run fortnite better since i'm on an old computer um yeah it just it's not pulling up the files that are normally there on the right so uh, um yeah there's that but yeah so once you just export it and you know you just kind of leave that at default sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you have to mess with some things but shadow plays has some a lot better in-depth tutorials on this and yeah so if, if you have questions like that like i could maybe eventually do a tutorial video once i do it more so i can 100 percent say this is the way that's going to be in your default settings and my folder path is a mess like i've got my extractions going into one game file of another game file inside of the head models and then it has its whole setup again so that's a mess i really don't recommend doing that but you know it it is what it is in the background you can see it's imported into blender and i applied the file that we needed now the other thing is if you have photoshop you can open up the actual textures 
and you can make like model revisions, stuff like that, but then like the easiest way is honestly to just remap the UVs most of the time if you want to go that far.